Hey, uh, we're going to be doing tea uh, this time. Uh, you can hear in the background, maybe, uh, that you can hear the kettle boiling. I will be making tea during this course. Uh, so that's what's happening this time. Is it a good decision? Maybe. Is it a terrible decision? Probably. But I thought it was funny. So the kettle has boiled. Um, I think it has at least stopped uh, screaming. So when I get to the checkpoint, I'll probably pour the kettle and then wait for the tea to brew. The usual stuff. I am failing so miserably. <laughs> This, uh, this this level was a collab with uh, a player named Lux, who was in the other level. Um, he made the, I think he made the T shape and most of the kettle, but I I can't remember. It was this was made like a while back. Anyway, uh, we've reached a checkpoint. I'm gonna quickly make some tea. Some uh, Lady Grey. And now we shall wait. And uh, now we shall wait for that to boil. I mean, simmer or whatever it is. You know when you. Oh, oh no, not boil or simmer. I meant. Uh, I think brew. Brew is the term. I. I, I need to study tea uh, terms again. It's been a while. Anyway, uh, we'll leave that to brew for a bit. Once I reach the kettle, I think I will finish making that tea. I know, I know that uh, barely anyone is watching these, uh, which means I can do whatever the heck I want <laughs> pretty much during these, which I think is funny. And I've fallen. The reason why I chose this course was because uh, the kettle was in the background. I was going to do OG Panda, but yeah, since the kettle was in the background, I couldn't. Uh, and I thought, you know what? It, there'll, it'll be an excuse if I do the team map. I can act like, oh, this was on purpose. <laughs> Which, I mean, it wasn't, but now I'm making a tea, so it should be better. I think this map is okay. It's not, it's not particularly good, it's not particularly bad. It's somewhere in the middle. Oh yeah, that's right. The uh, the oak fences have barriers on them, which is probably the hardest part of this uh, little section. Oh, I thought I was gonna one shot it just then. That's a shame. Uh, if you are if you are hearing this, um, which is a rare chance, but tell me what type of tea you drink, because. I am a strict black tea drinker. I think green tea is not as good because of the fact that it just doesn't taste as good, which I think is a solid and, you know, good enough explanation. That was the last jump that I failed. That was unfortunate, but these things happen. 
uh, in 1.8, uh, there's this really funny bug you can see over there, uh, where the textures overlap in glass, and I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure they fixed it in older versions, I mean, newer versions, but unfortunately, since they changed parkour and stuff in the newer versions as well, people play 1.8, and that's where most of this comes from. I don't know why people use 1.8 instead of 1.12. 1.12 is like the exact same, except there's more to do. And that's like awesome, I think. Uh. Oh. There we go. Oh my goodness. This reminds me of a, uh, there's this map that I submitted to, um, the Jumpcraft map submissions called Nubit. It was just the character from, uh, Deltarune Chapter 2. It, uh, the majority of the parkour was just this, uh, these 3x3 three three platforms with, like, a wall that was always facing, like, the worst direction to make a jump. And the parkour was great, in my opinion, and I have no idea why it was not accepted. I think that was doo-doo. But we have reached the kettle, so I need to go and, uh, pour milk into the tea. I don't spill this everywhere because this isn't in my laptop. Cool. And now I must squeeze the tea bag with a tea squeezer. Yes, that is something that I own. I don't know if it's common, if it's Something that only stupid tea obsessed people have. Uh, but yeah, that's there, and I just need to stir it because sugar. Just so you can hear the stirring. There we go. I have finished making the tea. Uh, I say it's pretty good. I enjoy the tea. Uh, now there's one thing I want to try and do. Uh, I was thinking about whether I should do this, but I think it'd be funny anyway. The main reason why I tried to build this map was because of the uh, Jumpcraft level rating podcast thing that I was making. Maybe You may be thinking, why on earth uh, would you be making this just for a podcast? What is even the point? Well... It is because we needed a HQ and... Oh, I have to go back to the thing. Yeah, we needed a HQ and we had no idea where to put it. Serena would probably not give us uh, one if we asked. Because that's like a lot of effort. Oh. So, what we decided to do instead... Or at least what I decided to do is make a Trojan horse of a map. 
Now, Trojan horse, generally associated with viruses. I don't blame you. That's a scary word, but I can assure you everything is harmless. So read it if you're watching this, don't ban me. I didn't do anything wrong. But, over here, hop down here, boom. This is a little hideaway. Uh, we've got the trampoline over here. It's pretty cool. Uh, we've got the kitchen. Everything's cool. No, if you were thinking there were any items in this ch in these chests or in these furnaces, that'd be incorrect. Because I know that item smuggling can get you banned, and I don't want that. So all these things came without bottles, came without any items of sorts. Light switch. And then boom, you've got like the recording area, the podcast, uh, Dream, you've got Dream over here, here's Dream, piano, oh, I've just untuned it, little library for reading if you want, uh, this was meant to be a backwards momentum sort of thing, except I completely forgot how to do that, so that's now useless to me, uh, I was here, there's no music disc, I didn't put one in there. Little carpet designs for any little mini games we wanted to do. Hot tub, except it's sort of cold. Noob trap. Yeah, whole shebang. Oh, and yeah, uh, I forgot to mention the lemonade stand. Jim and Nick's podcast lemonade, pretty awesome. All right, now let's get to finish the map. You may also wonder why the uh, little room down there looks a little empty in parts. That's because I was too lazy to sort of build a whole giant hideout. And the reason why no one goes there is because I ended up putting the hideout in just this really hard to get to place. So people like Calm Cat might not be able to get to it. Or Lux maybe. How about like yeah, uh, I feel like rain could get to it. Um, well, I mean, if you went up to the top of the course, you could probably jump down. But then again, who would do that? It's such a lengthy course. Plus, you got the fence part. Like, who wants to go there every time we're recording? No one is the answer. And I've fallen again. There we go. I tried to space these uh, out in a way that made it seem like uh, you wouldn't know where exactly to go if you looked around. But then I realized, oh wait, if they're, dis if they're distanced in a way that you don't know where to go, uh, that's like not possible because you can just look around and go, oh, that's a four plus one. And you're not meant to be able to beat these uh, like, you're not meant to make these courses uh, possible only with speed. So, it sort of backfired in the end. But, hey, it's fine. Everything is okay. And that's a 4 plus 1 over, like, what seems like a ocean. You just go, like, here. Should be fine. Little behind you sign, because there's a ladder. And that's the map. That's T. Do I like this map? Not particularly. I put more care into the little hideout than anything else. Um, but yeah. That's, that's that. Bye.